tumoral calcinosis. Tumoral calcinosis is a rare condition. It is a tumor-like lesion. This lesion can be mistaken clinically for a sarcoma. This is a testable item because it looks like a tumor, but it is not really a tumor. It's more in people with African heritage and more in females. It is a spontaneous periarticular calcification. It occurs around joints, especially the hip and shoulder. The etiology is not fully understood. There might be a hereditary element. There's another entity called calcinosis of renal failure or uremic tumoral calcinosis. It looks similar to tumoral calcinosis but it occurs in patient with renal failure or patient in long-term dialysis. They usually have hyperphosphatemia and hypercalcemia, and there is less involvement of the hip and shoulder than the tumoral calcinosis. On examination, you find there is an enlarging, firm, non-tender, fixed, painless mass that will limit the movement of the patient. It also could limit the ambulation and no history of trauma. The x-rays will show extra-articular, multi-lobulated, mineralized masses around the joints. CT scan and MRI may show fluid inside the mass. Bony scan, probably hot. The labs will show the calcium may be normal in non-renal types. Biopsy shows hydroxyapatite calcium deposit with surrounding macrophages. There is no crystals. Differential diagnoses are multiple. Let's just take a few examples. The chondrosarcoma is a malignant tumor containing malignant cartilage cells. How about synovial chondromatosis? It occurs inside the joint. It contains metaplastic calcified cartilage within the synovium. How about myositis ossificans? It occurs from trauma. It shows zoning phenomena. It's like an egg shell calcification in which there is a mature bone formation at the periphery. How about the parastial osteosarcoma? A dense bone forming lesion. It appears stuck on the cortex of the bone. It's usually around the knee in the back of the knee. Treatment. If the patient is asymptomatic, observe the lesion. If the patient is symptomatic and the mass is enlarging, do white excision to prevent local recurrence. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.